Hey everyone, welcome back to another Destiny video. This is Tough Buddy, and it is Friday. Very, 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 very late on Friday. And I have been neglecting my Zer visits. And by the mark on the planter and the purple flowers, we know that Zer is at the tower. Now, I apologize for not doing this earlier. Um, I have a new work schedule, and it has been messing with my sleep patterns and my ability to play as often as I want, but um, I am here to do another Zer visit. So, let's see what goodies he has this week. For the... I was going to say the Hunter. I don't know why. This is absolutely not the Hunter. It is the Titan. For the Titan, he has the Peregrine, or Peregrine Greaves Leg Armor. Let's take a look. Yeah, they kind of remind me of like, um, I don't know, like almost like Iron Man. I mean, if these were like, you know, like white with white lights on them or something like that, but yeah, whatever. Okay, anyways, let's see what this does. Peregrine Strike. Shoulder charge deals bonus damage when activated in the air. Why would you be in the air and do a shoulder charge? Okay, whatever. All right, in your second column, we have increased discipline or increased strength. In your third column, we have fusion rifle ammo, increase the amount of fusion rifle ammo you can carry, or machine gun ammo, increase the amount of machine gun ammo you can carry. And in the last column, we have arc double down, increase agility for five seconds after an arc double kill. Again, I don't know if this ever makes that much of a difference. Um, it seems like a pretty standard, even though it's supposed to be an exotic piece of armor. I'm kind of like, eh, it sounds kind of basic. The only thing that I think is really great about this is this. Um, I don't use shoulder charge that much, but some people might, and uh, you might want to um, add this to your armory, I guess. All right, and next we have this week for the hunter the crest of alpha loopy chest armor keeper of the pack in the first column revive fallen teammates and be revive faster supers generate an extra orb that is awesome i wish i had a piece of armor that did this um for when you're doing like strikes and stuff like that that would be awesome um i don't do the raid obviously um, like I've said before, because I can't find six people, or I should say five people, to play with me. Um, but the supers generate an extra orb. I have a helmet that does that, and I, I think that's awesome. Okay. In the second column, we have increased strength or intellect. In the third column, we have hand cannon ammo. Increase the amount of hand cannon ammo you can carry. Or sidearm ammo. Increase the amount of sidearm ammo you can carry. Now, over here, in the very last column, we have void burn defense. Reduces incoming void burn damage. Okay, and void armor, increased armor when using a void based subclass. I don't use the hunter um, hardly at all. Um, this is my niece's character when she plays with it, and um, it, it kind of looks like an iron banner uh, piece of armor with the wolf on it. Um, so I'd say it looks pretty cool. Um, I, I just wish that these things over here in the end were just something a little bit better void burn defense i don't know how much this comes into play like this the void armor i would pick this above that because and then you know maybe use it when i'm using void but reduces incoming void burn damage damage is damage and you're gonna die so what does it really matter <laughs> i have no idea um i don't know if i was a hunter i might consider getting this especially if i had the strange coins to spend on it but, again, the choice is yours. Okay, and last but finally. Not least, but finally. Finally, and last but not least. Whatever there. This week for the Warlock, we have the Void Fang Vestments. Um, I do have these. Uh, I remember, I think it was the very first exotic that I ever got. As far as armor, I'm sorry. Um, and I used it on my Warlock for the longest time, just because I was heavily into using the Void subclass. Hungering Void. Spawn with full grenade energy, and your Axian Bolt grenade spawns with an additional Seeker. 
Very, very nice. I think that's why I did it. Or I just really liked the way it looked. <laughs> All right. In the second column, we have increased discipline or strength. In the third column, we have pulse rifle ammo or fusion rifle ammo. You guys get the hint. Pick up. I'm going to be able to carry either more ammo for the pulse rifle or the fusion rifle, whichever you prefer. I would probably do... I don't use either one of these, but I use a pulse rifle more than I use a fusion rifle, so I would do the pulse rifle. In the last column, arc burn defense reduces incoming arc burn damage, or increased armor when using a void based subclass, void armor. Now, isn't it interesting that there's arc burn defense here, but void armor here? I obviously would use this one. And the weapon that he is offering this week is the 4th Horseman Shotgun. I do have this, and I kind of liked it for the first couple of days that I had it, and then I kind of didn't like it. The range sucks like hell. This weapon can be fired in full auto mode, which is great because the rate of fire is pretty decent. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's one of those guns I think I just would have to play with over and over and over and get used to it and then finally be able to like find out like oh i'll be able to use this in this kind of a way or or, or whatever but yeah you know whatever it's not my favorite shotgun all right you guys have a choice of different um options here either the cqb ballistics the accurized ballistics which does give you a little bit more range there uh you uh decrease your stability um, which is probably something what I would do, um, and or field choke, more range and impact, increase recoil. So uh, I definitely would choose between one of these two here. Uh, final round, the last round in the magazine deals bonus damage. That's awesome. I like that. Um, I think that there's a couple of other weapons that do that. Over here in your fourth column, we have fitted stock, which increases weapon stability. Which, if I did one of these two, I would put on the fitted stock. Hand loaded. The weapon is effective at an extended range. Okay, I lied. Because the range sucks so bad, I mean, you know, I don't know if I've actually ever really messed with this gun. Maybe that's why I didn't like it so much, is because I didn't look and see what was the best possibility with it. But, eh, still. Even with this increased range, the range sucks. Or speed reload. The reload of the weapon is much quicker which I would rather have the range in the last column we have return to sender kills with this weapon have a chance to grant bonus ammo in the magazine so that's cool you may not run out of bullets or you might it's all guesswork it kind of reminds me of something from like Red Dead Redemption even though it's a a, a space shotgun in the hue the ornaments that he's offering this week is not a toy weapon ornament for the Zalo Supercell or the Silver Bullet, which is for the Nemesis Star. The curios that he has for the Sparrows are the Plasma Drive and the Emerald Coil, should you choose to use those on your Sparrows. I don't know how many people are actually worried about whether or not their Sparrows leave a colored trail behind them. I remember when I first found out that you could do that, I was all about it. Um, and I have two Sparrows equipped with, I think, a purple and a red and I've just never spent any strange coins on these since then. Skip the heavy ammo synthesis because you can get that from other vendors and probably cheaper, especially since you don't want to waste your strange coins. Spend strange coins on three of coins. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just get some of these because I know that I'm low. Skip the glass needles. I really don't see the point. Although maybe one of these days someone will actually explain if there is a benefit to getting the glass needle so that you can re-roll the uh, statistics on your exotics, I feel like it's not worth it. I, I don't know. And obviously skip the legacy engram. It's a helmet engram, and if you absolutely are in dire need of a helmet at this point in the game, I guess if you have the strange coins, go ahead and get it. But otherwise, you know, this still could have a chance to turn into something that's not even for the class that you're wanting it for. So it's a crapshoot, I feel like, and way too expensive. We're talking about almost 30 strange coins there. Um, as you can see, that's like over half of what I have right now. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to grab the Void Fang vestments because I do have my old one in the vault, which I'm going to show you very quickly. 
Did I get rid of them? All right, maybe they're in my inventory. <laughs> Look, at here's the new one. Here's the old one. Yes, my old one was 330. Discipline and strength, and this one is discipline and strength, and yeah. All right, so since this is fully upgraded, I can break this one down and keep this one. And I will get... Oh, it's locked. Sorry. I will get... Oh, I'm in the vault. I have to get out of the vault. I will get two exotic shards, which I will use to upgrade some of my exotics. I, I, I don't know what. Right now, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, Iron Banner's coming up, so I know that I'm going to be getting a lot of, um, uh, you know, weapons and probably some gear um, that I'll be wanting very, very soon. Hopefully. But, yeah, that's going to do it, guys. I hope you found something with from Zer, with Zer, from Zer, um, that you wanted this week. And uh, if you did, why don't you leave me a message in the comments and let me know what you did or, or how you're doing or whether or not you're stocking up. Maybe you can leave me a tip on what's the best way to farm strange coins. Because i got to tell you, I just keep playing Crucible over and over and maybe Prison of Elders and I get, you know a few here and there and I'm not too worried about it because most of the exotics that Zer has every week I feel like I've already got or something I want to pass up on. That's going to do it for this one guys. Thanks so much for coming along. I'm sorry I'm not very entertaining. It's very late. I'm very tired and I have to go to bed because I have to get up and go to work in the morning. Yay! You guys go out and have the best possible day or night ever. I will see you in the next one. Stay tough guardians. Bye.